<laughs> All right, welcome back to the Taco Madre podcast. Back at you one more time. My lovely wife uh, off camera. What's up, everybody? Yeah, you know that lovely voice <laughs> once again. Uh, and then today, I have a very special guest with me today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, ma'am? So my name is Mishael, which is a super complicated ass name. So Facts. if you want to call me Millie, like that's perfectly fine. Yes, Millie. And uh, Millie, what do you do and uh, what, what are you about, you know? So I also have a podcast called The Mad Girls Club, but that actually came from my boutique. So I have a women's clothing boutique called The Mad Boutique. And um, that's kind of just... I can pull that up. I can pull that up. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, uh, yeah, on Instagram, follow her. Uh, she's got the Mad Boutique. Mm -hmm. And what do you sell on here? So I sell clothing and jewelry and basically like the Mad Boutique. I've always like loved fashion and clothing and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I, I don't know, like I say, I like to say that my style is very like, um, like fashion streetwear, but like classy, you know, like, like not Forever 21 or maybe like Zara. Like I could say like maybe okay, like Zara, right. kind of. Not all the way Fashion Nova. No, oh, not okay. Fashion Nova at all. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I started Mad Boutique because I just wanted women to feel like, you know, a boss ass. Can I cuss in here? Yeah, okay. you can do whatever you want. How dare you? <laughs> okay, I was like, I wanted women to feel like a boss ass bitch, you know, like wearing these like like women sophisticated clothes because I'm already about to hit my 30s, you know, so I can't be wearing Forever 21 and, you know, clothing like that anymore. It kind of looks crazy. Like, <laughs> I, I remember going in to Forever 21, like at 28 years old. Oh, yeah. And I was like, at the cash year, uh, I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, why am I in here? Yeah. You know what I mean? Forever 21. <laughs> Not forever 21. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, so everything in there is like crop tops and just like, you know, young clothing. And that's just not who I am. And so um, I decided to create the um, Mad Boutique so that when women wear it, they feel like a boss. You know, it's more sophisticated clothing, um, but still like everyday wear type of situation. And, you know, I feel like in the women community, there's like a lot of you know, women that hate on each other and things like that. Like I grew up where um, girls hated me for absolutely no reason, or at least I didn't think they had a reason. Like I could have like not known the girl and she like didn't like me, you know? So then um, my motto for the Mad Boutique is let's make them mad. So like, let's wear this clothing mm. and let's give them a <laughs> reason to be mad, yeah, you know? Exactly. So, um, so then I wanted to kind of do more with that message, which is why I created the Mad Girls Club, which kind of is like a sisterhood brand of the Mad Boutique. Yeah. So the Mad Girls Club, we kind of like talk about dilemmas, things that are happening, happening in women's lives, kind of like, you know, um, women, we go through so much stuff and, um, it's a platform where they can kind of send their story anonymously because a lot of times, you know, we are scared for people to know, like, what we're going through and find our identity, you know, things like that, because our stories can be embarrassing, you know, you don't want to tell anybody. So then um, I created a website where they can... Um, go in there submit their story anonymously and then we'll answer their situation on the podcast and then aside from that we'll also have like hot topics like why do men do the things they do you know type of situation or like um just so many different topics that you know girls want to know and we try to get it answered on the mad girls club that's awesome so they send it in anonymously mm -hmm. and you guys are able to give your feedback and advice mm -hmm. to these girls that mm -hmm. are going through something that you know is a pretty could be a toxic relationship could be, it a, could be anything it, yeah. it, it it's comes from like i've had topics about you know like um family or about relationships sisters like uh, co-workers like everything and anything they lay it out mm -hmm. and they're not scared because they're anonymous so it's like they don't care to put their story out right, there right right that's awesome uh so you're giving a safe haven for people to or for women to come and uh you know be able to tell their story that's great and then what is sorry poppy and that just happened not yes, too long ago yes yeah. so sorry poppy is an all-girls event it's like 
basically a club and it's nothing but women and the whole point of it is because you know a lot of times when women go out to like bars and clubs you have guys going like Hey, 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 or whatever you know like touching your touching you trying to grab you like you're dancing having fun with your homegirls and like all of a sudden there's a guy dancing behind you and you're like whoa like, like where did you, where did you come up. from yeah exactly back like up. i'm not about that life yeah. like step away <laughs> and um so sorry poppy is like nothing but women you can wear like the hoest outfit and like you know men aren't there to like judge you and kind of look at you and belittle you you know um you can dance however you want twerk and just feel super comfortable because it's like nothing but women you know well i don't know sometimes <laughs> you know you don't know <laughs> depending on what type of woman is there i mean you might also have that problem right so is it also open to like uh, lesbians and stuff yeah completely yeah. like any type of like women like as as long as you know you're you're there you're having fun and i mean no males so but i mean there's do you get a penis you ain't you ain't welcome yeah exactly no problem <laughs> uh, so how was the event i mean the turnout oh my god was it was it? amazing yeah. so i was there and i was um interviewing you know people who were going to the event yeah. and all I kept hearing women say is like I just love it I can go to the restroom and not have to worry about you know going through getting yeah getting harassed yeah, I don't yeah. have to worry about like I can take off my shoes you know I can dance and not have to I could just be me and feel free you know and not ha feel like guys are staring at me that's a good point you're mm -hmm. right um I think that's great uh so then uh, I think if you ever go to a club, you need to go to this kind of club. <laughs> that's the one I'm allowed to yeah. go. Yeah, that's why my husband let me go. No, <laughs> um, so was this something that you helped like put together? No, I didn't put it together, so okay. I can't take any credit for that at all. Okay. So um, there's uh, this group of girls from Chicago, and okay. they're kind of the ones that made that event happen and they got really famous on TikTok with like their videos so then um i reached out to them and then we collaborated with each other um because we have kind of like the same like background story you know like women empowerment sisterhood and all things women right. and so they were like yeah hop on like we'd love to have you and yeah i'm so glad i was a part of that that's awesome mm -hmm. that's so cool really Awesome. Yeah, man. So you were able to promote it and stuff. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and take a listen to one of your uh, one of your clips. <laughs> uh, I think. I'll, oh, this is not the clip. By the way, I um, am a new fan and a subscriber to I'm your show. So, yeah, <laughs> I love your show. So oh, thank you. Yeah, you guys are so fun. Your friends that yeah. are on the show, you guys are really, really funny. I love it. Thank like, you so much. You guys are friends of mine, but you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. Yeah. That's you and your friend? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just like let it all out. <laughs> so give no us some filter. content. What, what were you guys? Um, so that was kind of just a story of like I don't really remember like the exact story, but I know like it was something along the lines of like um, the girl was having a problem with her husband's like ex like continuously like trying to like his pictures and this and that and like he'll block her, but then she's like making fake accounts and all this stuff. Like she's like, what do I do? Like do i leave him or like do i how do i deal with this situation yeah. and we kind of just like talked about it on the podcast yeah we're really? not on that yeah that was great <laughs> <laughs> it's like some deep yeah. stories yeah. that happen yeah it's a crazy situation yeah, to be girl. in um I was gonna you know it gets crazier like really? that's not even like the craziest thing i've heard exactly. mm -hmm. right, no well, yeah some of the questions that sorry some of the questions that i heard on your podcast was like man some of this stuff is like people are out here trifling mm -hmm. like really yeah are just doing some dirty stuff yeah i like i'll read the submissions and i'm like for real like dang <laughs> the yeah. sister yeah damn like that sucks yeah. <laughs> man and so um you know a lot of uh cheese goes around and like i've guys also have do cheese you know what I yeah, mean? yeah like uh the barbershop is notorious for that for that kind of thing. I've heard. You know what I mean? <laughs> when uh when we were your your husband's uh, joining us off camera too. Uh -huh. You've been at the barbershop, right? You know how it goes down. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we just talk about everything. No wonder he spends like four hours there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is a spot. Uh, um but um I was gonna tell you 
I remember um, my barber would always tell me like the cheese man, yeah. his cheese man, mm-hmm. and he was he would just be going like, hey, you know what? I'm uh, this is a barber from like a couple years ago, but uh, he was like, yeah, you know what? Uh, I be I be messing around with uh, this dude, and uh, he's he's married to a girl. Oh shit! Yeah, and so he was, <laughs> and so and then the the dude that was married, he was uh, telling my barber, hey. Um, uh, you know, don't don't worry. Like, uh, uh, like uh, I'm gonna li- I'm gonna leave her uh, for you. But then, like the bar was like, he's just been talking like all that shit for like just keeping him around. Yeah, with for that, a, like for a couple years now. Lie, manipulating yeah. him. Oh my god, <laughs> that's wild. Like it, it's it's so uh, my bar was like, but you know what? I, I ain't gonna fuck up your shit. Like, uh, you know, you do you, and I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do me, you know what I mean? Because like I can't be sitting around waiting. Uh, Damn. <laughs> but it, I thought it was crazy that that dude was. That, so did he leave her? Uh, no, no. No, he stayed with her. Yeah. Well, yeah. The barber had to move on. Oh wow. He moved on, or supposedly, right? I'm sure they're still like phone tagging. Yeah. You know what I mean? Toxic love like that never goes away. Damn. Maybe. <laughs> That's a story I'd love to have on the Mad Girls Club. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get them up here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I don't really have guys that submit their stories. I would love to have guys submit their stories because guys have drama too. <laughs> guys, you know? send, your stories, yeah. send your stories. Please. Send your stories, please. Yeah. Yeah. To Millie, yes. Mm-hmm. Have so, you plugged in your Instagram where they can send all their questions or their? Uh, yeah, so you can just too. go to themadgirlsclub.com yeah. and then that's anonymously, or you can send an email at uh, hello at the Mad Girls Club. Yeah. And it's answered on the podcast. Maybe I can have you on there and you can help me um, answer some dilemmas. Yeah, I can answer some dilemmas That'd for sure. That'd be so cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got um, we got a couple things to go through. But before we do, um, what does it take to be in a mad girls club? Like, Because I don't think just any kind of girl can... You be can't be it. no hating ass girl. That's for starters. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> That's number one. You got to be yes. like willing to like, just like, you know, those girls that are like, you'll ask them like, oh, so how did you do that? Or how did you get there? Where'd you buy that shirt at? You know, the girls that are like, oh, I don't know. Or, um, you know, like just <laughs> like, around. yeah, like nah, whatever, like, no, that that's not it. Like we, we, the Mad Girls Club is about like empowering one another, like being able to like have, you know, that connection and, you know, that mentor, like not being like being OK with like sharing, you know, how you made it and things like that, because there's room. There's so much room, you know. And um, there's like billions and billions of dollars out there that we can all have, you know, like I don't understand like why women have to be like so stingy with it. So like I understand research like that takes time, like been there, done that. I get it. But like if I could had if I would have had someone to like maybe give me a shortcut, like, you know, like that would have been appreciated that would have saved me a lot of time you know a lot of hassle a lot of, and a lot of mess doubt. up mm-hmm. sometimes a lot of girls like we have these ideas but mm-hmm. we don't pursue them because we have a lot of doubt and we don't have that guidance yeah exactly yeah, so i'm a cancer awesome so i don't know if that's like me that's like just in yeah nature. like i love helping i love yeah, um you know hearing people's story and giving them advice like that's just who i am and i want more women to be like that and stop the cattiness and the hatred and the jealousy you know yeah. like let's just all help each other so, so if you don't fit in that genre then sorry sis ah, you're, no, you're not no, welcome to the club <laughs> I love it. That's a beautiful requirement. Yeah. Love it. Definitely. Um, and then you also, um, let's see, I don't know if we mentioned this, but you're also coming out with a season two now, right? Yes. Yeah, so season two, oh, no. July, baby. So we're going to have season two come out July. Okay, great. And how is this season two going to be different from season one? Um, Well, we're going to have like a lot more guests. So we're going to have like a lot of business women or men who are in Dallas, like um, celebrity makeup artists, like people who have already made it. Like I'm going to have them on the podcast and kind of have them talk about their story, how they made it, what they did. And so I'm still doing dilemmas, always going to have dilemmas. Mm -hmm. Um, But this time we're going to like just talk more about less about boys and more about how to be where you want to be. And it's also going to be video now? Yes, we're going to have YouTube now. So we do have a YouTube channel. Just no videos up yet until July. I saw your husband on one of your videos. And, yes. And uh, I think it was called the <laughs> loyalty prank. Oh, oh yay. Yeah. 
on youtube yeah <laughs> yeah so what was that loyalty prank about what was the whole premise it, please tell me <laughs> what was that video you who, who pranked who friends? yeah you were calling up somebody oh yeah, yeah yeah so um i called three of his friends he called three of my friends and we basically yeah. just like was pranking them and kind of telling them like hey he um you know, he didn't come home last night. Where was he at? He said he was with you. Is that true? You know, type of situation. And like the friends didn't have any idea we were calling them nothing. Right. So it was like right, authentic, right. like awesome. reactions. <laughs> Some like yeah. caught on. They're like, mm, y'all wouldn't do that. Yeah. Like, no, that's fake. Y'all are fake. Oh, really? Yeah. They all told you that? Well, one did. Yeah. And yeah. then the other ones, they were like, yeah, he was with me. Mm. I was like, oh, really? Hell yeah, straight up. <laughs> all right. I'm straight, not going right to trust here. you. He was right here watching fucking tv <laughs> all my friends had my back she was with me you yeah. know she fell asleep on the couch and shit <laughs> girls i hate girls <laughs> we gotta ride together mm, and then it's so funny yeah. because like all his friends did not like they're like i don't know they if they were, were scared of me or what <laughs> but they're like nah he wasn't with me no nope. nope. like, oh, <laughs> i was like yeah you damn right <laughs> Damn, they gave you up. You're like, like, but this one, uh-uh. uh uh-uh. I was like, I can trust you, yeah. won't trust you. You know what? It's because a lot of times the guy is just like, man, let him. He can probably handle it. I'm just gonna stay out of it. You know what I mean? I know it ain't gonna really fuck up my relationship with him. Yeah. Like uh, that's his business. You know what I mean? I feel like that. Like. I feel, right, that makes sense because girls like, are more catty you yeah. know so you didn't have my back all right like i got you now yeah, like type of situation so yeah mm-hmm. that's true they'll get back at you spiteful <laughs> yeah, yeah spiteful yeah. um no yeah no surprise there uh let's see <laughs> how dare you